so welcome everybody to a Christmas crumble. Um, this is our first sort of iteration of this. It is a uh, Christmas party, a Trello themed adventure and action packed hour we've got going on here. So um, what kind of the genesis of this is uh, as a productivity nerd, I've always wanted to talk to Santa and, and figure out how does he do it? Ooh, Michael Pryor's coming. Here we go. We'll let him in for sure. Um, all right. And so the, the whole impetus sort of behind this was, you know, I've always wanted to figure out, you know, how is Santa so productive? I mean, if you think about it, he is the pinnacle of productivity, right? He does more in one night than most of us do in an entire year. And I was like, how does this guy do it? Like, how does he, um, oh, hang on one second. I am seeing some technical support. So I want to make sure I am helping everyone out here. All right. Okay. Um, coming back here. Um, so yeah, he uh, he does more in one night than all of us do in the most of us do in a year. So I was like, maybe I can ask Santa how he is so productive and how he gets so much done. And believe it or not, Santa said he uses Trello. And I was like, you know, Santa, that sounds sounds about right. Like, how else would you get so much done? And uh, he gave me full permission to share all of his secrets and share with the world and make sure everyone can can see how to use um, Trello to be more productive. So um, starting off here, um, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. Um, my name is Brittany Joyner. I am a self-proclaimed Trello super nerd. I've been using Trello for about 10 years um, and I'm part of the Crumble team as of this year. So I'll be explaining more about what Crumble is and, and how I got into that. Um, we also have Andy, he's not here yet. Um, he's gonna show up fashionably late um, because, because he because he can and you know for dramatic effect and just when you get bored of hearing my voice he's going to jump in so you can hear his voice too so he should be here soon but um we have a lot of other like really fun friends with us today um i'm super excited uh michael Pryor's here the founder of trello um he's our special guest santa um we have crumble founders tony here um and we also have alberto the product and graphic designer for crumble we've got some other awesome friends from like other power-ups like plan away countdown for trello unito zapier type form, bulk actions, time and list, and approvals for Trello. And um, we've got Dean Morgan, who's our number one Crumble fan, going to show you some cool ways that he uses Crumble. So um, yeah, so uh, thank you everyone for joining. And we'll go ahead and, and get started here. Um, a few fun housekeeping things. If you want my Zoom background, I'm going to put it in the chat right now in case anyone who's joined yet hasn't had a chance to see it. Um, but uh, yeah, Alberto made this. He makes all sorts of fun, nice things for Crumble, and it's it's super nice. Um, we love, you know, all of the all of the cool stuff that he's building and working on. It's it's very neat, and so um, feel free to use that. You can just download that, and then if you go to Zoom in your preferences, then video, you can upload it in there. So, um, so yeah, feel free to use that. Um, don't worry too much about taking notes. We are recording this and we'll be sending out that recording tomorrow. We're also going to send out an email with a description of all of these power-ups that we're talking about, all of the links for you to try them out. So don't feel like you have to remember everything that we mentioned. Um, I even set up a blog post where I show screenshots and sort of step-by-step -step for how all of these things I'm talking about work. Um, and I get a little excited when I talk about Trello. So feel free to stop me and tell me to like, slow down or feel free to pause and ask follow-up questions if you need to or anything. Um, but yeah, and definitely post in the chat if you have questions. I will try to chat, and, like keep an eye on the chat, but also I'm not great at multitasking and I'm also trying to like monitor my email in case anyone's having any trouble getting in um, and obviously also presenting stuff too. So, but we have some other friends in the chat too who are helping to, to monitor. So, um, Post your questions in there and we'll get to them throughout the webinar or we'll answer them after the fact. So um, yeah, cool. All right. So um, just a quick question. Uh, how familiar is everyone here with Trello? Like, is it like never heard of it before? Is it like I'm a super user? Just trying to kind of get a get a sense. I'm assuming we have people across the board, but feel free to post in the chat if, if you're uh, I always hate when people ask this question, I guess, because it's like, I don't know, let's just say on a scale of one to 10, how would you how would you say you feel acquainted you are with Trello? Because people are like, I don't know how much I know Trello. Let's just say on a scale of one to 10. Okay. 
I like all of these. We've got a good good range here. Moderate user, I like that. Yep, perfect. I, I think this is great then. Um, um, yeah, lots of things across the board here. So I'm hoping there's definitely some stuff in here that you'll find useful, even if you're like closer to that eight, nine sort of sort of range where, oop, hang on, spoilers, um, where, did I admit that person? I think I admitted them. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping you'll find stuff that's useful for you no matter which stage you're at, um, whether you're you're really new to Trello or, or still sort of advanced. But again, feel free to, you know, post some questions and ask, feel free to, um, I'm going to do a lot of this kind of live and sort of off the, off the not necessarily off the cuff because I've like planned and put together these boards, but at the same time, we're going to be live demos and not just slides. So feel free to unmute and, you know, ask any questions if you need to, or, um, you know, ask, hey, can you do this or that? Um, I may not be able to answer it on the fly, but it's always fun to try. So um, we can do that. But just since I did see a few people who were a little bit little bit newer, um, just to give you the sort of context, Trello is a digital whiteboard um, with sticky notes. That's my favorite way to describe it. Um, it's a digital whiteboard with sticky notes that are supercharged with features that make it really useful to plan and organize information. So you can add due dates and labels, checklists, um, you can assign members, you can attach files to it, you can do all of these sorts of things. And you can access it anywhere on your phone, you can in a Chrome browser, offline and online. I use Trello on the airplane, I use Trello literally everywhere. Um, have it on my phone. It is one of my, I don't, you can't, I don't know if you can see, but I have two apps on my bottom screen here and Trello and Safari are the only two. I don't even use iMessage as much as I use Trello. So um, that's, you can see where my loyalties lie there. Um, so yeah, so that is kind of what Trello is. And I also like to explain it as Legos. It's kind of like a bunch of building blocks. So it's, you know, you, you have it out of the box and you can build whatever you want with it. Or some people like me, like coming up with different plans for different sets. So like I can show you how to build your own, um, uh, Death Star and Trello or, you know, whatever you want to uh, uh, build in there. So I'm actually now going to jump out of the slides because like I said, I want this to be a little bit more um, demo-y. So what we're going to do is um, I've got some notes over here on the side and I'm going to try not to jump around too much. But again, feel free to pause me or unmute me and um, we're going to go through some Trello boards. Everything, everything good so far? tech issues everyone's hearing me all right nobody's having any problems awesome cool cool all right so i'm gonna like kind of ease our way into this and start with uh santa's to-do list um this is probably one of those common use cases on trello to have a what's called agile or a sort of scrum type of board where the premise is that you have a sprint which is a defined period of time usually it's like one or two weeks and you say um cool here is, you know, all of the things I want to accomplish in that time. And you kind of have a backlog of like all the different things of here's, you know, all the all the things I might want to work on or all of the possible ideas of things that I could possibly ever want to work on. And that's where, hang on, I actually need to, I think I switched back into my Trello and I need to switch back into the Crumble Trello. So let's do that real quick. Um, but this is where I, I use this in my life. This is probably one of my first use cases of Trello. You can use it at work. You can use it in your personal life. Um, you can use it for literally everything. You can use it with your family. You can use it with just yourself. But it's a great way to put all of your ideas. Um, if you ever have those times where you feel like super overwhelmed and you're like, I have a thousand things I need to accomplish, you can just dump everything in here. And then each week you can kind of go through like, oh, here's what I actually need to work on this week. Um, and what I really like about it is, again, this is where you see the kind of whiteboard layout of here's your different lists of to do, doing, and done. You can make it whatever you want. For instance, um, maybe if you're a writer, um, you spend a lot of time writing instead of to do, doing, and done, you might have um, you know, something like draft, edit, and publish. Uh, or you can just stick with a simple to do, doing, and done. But it's great to just kind of dump things in there. You can add due dates if they need to happen at specific times. You can add a checklist if you're like, I need to, you know, find out who's been naughty or nice. Let's see, uh, do some recon, ask parents, you know, you can add different things in there. And um, it will let you, you know, keep track of all the different things going on there. So that's really, really fun to see. You can add a description, if you need to add more sort of data in there, you can add labels. So if you 
for instance, I use labels on my to-do list for organizing by like, is this something for my career? Is this something for like my finance? Like, you know, different sort of things with that. You can attach files if you need to have specific images or, or anything that relates to that. So, um, so that's really cool. And um, yeah, so this is, you know, pretty, pretty basic. Most people here, I would assume, are kind of, you know, since you mentioned you're familiar with Trello, probably nothing sort of like mind blowing here. Um, I would like a little bit of praise over these things that I have come up with for Santa's to do list. I tried to be creative with it. Um, things like check sled insurance in case he runs over grandma again. Um, talk to Jack Frost about asking before nipping toes. Or, oh, actually, I meant to fix that because he doesn't nip toes, he nips noses. LOL. Um, but, anyways, so. Um, as long as everyone's appreciative of this, we can uh, we can move on. Um, so yeah, another another fun one I've got is Santa's Christmas calendar. So this is kind of you know we're taking taking Trello to like a, a new sort of step. This isn't you know just basic. I mean it's still fairly basic features, but some some cool pieces with this is that you can view your cards in a calendar view and on a map view. And so this works really well for like events or different things like that. Cause you know, as you can imagine Santa, he's got a lot of Christmas parties he's got to go to. And so he's got stuff with his family. He's got friends, um, he's got Santa appearances. So, you know, he's got, he's got a lot going on there. Um, and yes, other views are coming soon too. Um, so get excited for that. But um, even just these two views are like super, super powerful and like, you, the way they work is by, with the uh, calendar view, they're sorted by the different dates on the cards. So if you hit the calendar view, it's a great way to visualize things. And this is one of the things I love about Trello is like being able to use these makes it very visual. And I feel like sometimes when you're trying to get the big picture, just seeing a bunch of words in a Google doc or something doesn't really help. But if you can help people zoom out um, and be able to see what's going on, that helps a lot. So especially with the calendar, I use this a lot for um, pretty much anything like where I'm trying to plan like social media posts, for instance, or even for organizing a workload, it's a great way to check your bandwidth and see like, oh, like I already have multiple things going on this day. Let's move this over here. And it's super simple. You can just drag and drop and it will update the due date on the card. So um, that's really nice to be able to see. And again, you know, you can break it down by week or month and see different sort of views there. So that's, that's really nice. Um, and then also like the map view. So if you're We'll go back inside of a card. You can add a location. And so let's just say North Pole. We'll go to this one in Indiana. You can search in there just like you would on any sort of Google map. Um, and then you can go to your map view and it shows everything you'd want to see in, in your map view here. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. So we have. Here's North Pole Lane, so you can see back in there. And um, let me go back in there. I didn't want that zoomed in. And so, yeah, you can zoom out, you can zoom in, and it's a good way to see, you know, if you're planning like a certain route or um, I actually use this for like my address book. Um, I think it's a nice handy way to store addresses. And so it, it's a great, it, it's also a nice like visualization because you can kind of see you know, where's everybody at or um, what's going on. I, I know some companies like to use it for being able to sh see like a visual map of like where employers are located. So I think that is, um, that is a super, super cool way to use that. Um, looking at the chat, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, let's see. Okay, yes, when looking at calendar view, click the gear icon. Oh yes, right, yeah, connecting with the, um, with your Google calendar. Um, you can click in here and this is where you can enable sync right here and get that lead and bring that in over to um, the other other calendars. So it's a great point right there. Um, I'm assuming we are watching a paid version or power apps. So ooh, this is a good question that um, I believe the calendar and maps is that somebody might be able to answer this better than me because I get confused about which version of Trello has what on it. So I can't remember if this is a business class feature or if this is standard. So maybe if somebody else can answer that, because that first board I showed you, the Santa's to-do list, everything on here is completely free. You don't even have to use any power-ups or, or anything like that. And so everything in here is out of the box. Nothing is, is paid for in here. Um, I believe calendar and map. Yeah, okay. So Steve mentioned he has it in Trello gold, have it in business. So, okay, cool. So. Um, 
yeah, Trello Gold, I think that's the one that's like $5 a month and it, it lets you have um, a couple power-ups per board. So it's, it's super, it, it's really great for the value. I think Trello has um, a lot of value in even free, but like obviously some more of the stuff you're about to see really takes it to the next level when you can have more power-ups with it. So I definitely recommend um, the, the gold at least, um, if not business class. Um, and there's some, some certain business class features that are like really cool too, like the ability to, um, when you add these checklists in here, you can actually assign them to specific people and add due dates. I do know that is a business class feature. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, like having a card with a project and then wanting to be able to assign specific pieces in here, that's definitely a huge piece of business, um, a huge part of business class. Also the ability to have unlimited power-ups um, the next board I'm going to show you here in a minute has like a lot of different power ups on it. And so uh, it's definitely something that if you wanted to utilize all of them, you'd, you'd need to have a little bit more in there. So yeah, Neil posted a great link there. That is that is very, very excellent. Um, Okay, right. Yeah. Okay. So calendar map works via power up. So you can have one one on there for free. So, um, but again, I, I gold, I believe lets you have, I think it's like up to three, right? And then I believe business class is unlimited. Um, so yeah. Um, cool, cool. Gold is three per board. Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything, some other good like uses for like this calendar sort of view. Um, if you have like any sort of like sports or family activities, that's a really good way to kind of, you know, keep track of what everyone's doing. You can assign members to like, you know, different kids and have labels for is it sports or is it music or, you know, is it work or whatever it is. And um, you can filter by those sort of things, which makes it really easy if you want to see, for instance, if you only want to see certain types of events or things that are, you know, coming up in the next week, um, filtering by due dates or labels or members. So, um, it's a super, super handy view. Um, cool. All right, I'm gonna take a pause here. Let's see, do, do, do. And you have three different power-ups per board. Y yes, if you, yeah, if you, if you have gold, you don't have to have the same three power-ups across all of the boards. So you can have three on this board. You could have three different ones on your to-do list board. Um, yeah, hope that answers that question. Okay, cool. So now we're going to go to my favorite board. Um, and this is one where we got lots of power ups going on here. So it's um, pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. Wait, this one is actually on my account. Um, so this is Santa's Santa's list. So I feel like it's a great, great pun that Santa has his Trello list, you know, um, makes sense. How else would Santa have it? And so this is Santa's Santa's board. Um, it's still kind of early in the year, so he's still. What the heck? Why are we not? Hang on, we've lost Santa's list. There we go. We found it. Okay, crisis averted. We can still have Christmas. Um, okay, so Santa keeps his list um, here inside Trello, and it's a little early in the year. You know, kids, they always got to wait till the last minute for asking for stuff. So we don't have a ton of cards in here yet, but you can imagine. Um, Oh yes, super easy to get from one account to the other. Um, it, I don't know why it took it a second to load the board, but yeah, literally all you have to do is click switch accounts over there and put in the other one. Um, and I, as you can tell, go back and forth between them so much that at this point, I don't even know which account owns which board. So, um, but yeah, so anyway, so the way this board works is we use Crumble um, because you didn't know Santa had a CRM, but he does. So any whenever I think about CRM, I used to just think of like sales and pipeline and leads. And I was like, oh, that doesn't really apply to me too much because I'm, you know, not in sales. I, I work in marketing and, you know, I, I don't do anything with that. But um, funnily enough, uh, the if you kind of think about it, a CRM is useful for anyone managing any sort of contacts. And so Santa has to manage a lot of contacts. In fact, every person on the planet and the things they want for Christmas. So um, bye Nina, uh, we, will, we will miss you. Don't worry, we'll be sending out the recording. Um, so yeah, so Santa has to manage all of these contacts. He has to be able to keep track of, you know, who wants what, has it been made, has it been delivered? You know, what are we gonna do with that? So, um, so yeah, so Santa uses Crumble and it's, it's super easy. You just add the Crumble power up on here. And if you go to settings, you can get, get right up to speed here. So you can either add 
like the default layout of lists. I haven't because I created custom lists here, which you can also easily do. You just create a list or add a new one on here if you want, and it is there ready to go in your funnel. Um, you can say which one is where new, new contacts basically should be going into. Um, and that's basically your starting out list. So for me, that's, or for Santa, sorry, for Santa, that is wish list received. Um, um, ooh, uh, just saw a question about uh, Trello backgrounds and crumble graphics. Alberto has some fantastic ones for you. Um, Alberto, can you share the link to our crumble backgrounds page? Um, Yes, perfect. Uh, so yeah, so this is where you can set up the lists um, and that will by default set up your funnel and your list for how you want to organize your board. And so you can see, I have mine laid out in like a linear sort of flow, uh, basically a workflow Santa would go through of, you know, I received their wish list, um, got to make their toys, they've been made, they're ready to go be delivered, they're out for delivery on the 24th, they've been delivered. And we've even got the naughty list over here. So literally Santa has a naughty list and it is in Trello. Um, and so Crumble, you know, sets up all of those lists for you. And then you can also within each card, um, Crumble gives you these specific fields so you can keep track of information. And so uh, you can see, you know, the basic ones, name, uh, last name, phone number, email, et cetera. But um, if you need additional ones, like for instance, we needed wish list because we wanted to be able to keep track of what each kid wants and adult, uh, everyone has wishes. So if you go over to crumble fields, you can just click add new field. And it's if you've ever used the uh, custom fields power up, it's very similar experience to that. You just select what type of field you want, give it a name and you can add it in there. I've added wish list right there so you can see it um, right there. And that now shows up on every card. Um, and you can see there's what the wish list is. So um, that's super handy for that. Um, I also have used the com the custom field, custom crumble fields for adding in mailing address because I use crumble to keep track of our orders for crumble stickers. So when someone um, wants a crumble sticker, they fill out a form and that goes to a Trello board for me and I'm able to see all the information of who requested it, um, what's their address and that's all stored right in there. So. Um, Santa can even use a crumble feature of deal value if he wants to track how much he's spending on each kid's gifts. Um, I don't know if you noticed, he did have an item on his to-do list about having to cut back a little bit because of the economy this year. So um, he's really got to like tighten the strings down on the budget. So he can add, this is normally meant for tracking deal value of how much money you think you'll bring in from a contact, but the math kind of works the same so you can you can organize it however you would like so um let's just say i want to set it for um how much i want to spend on someone we're gonna spend um ten dollars on mario fun man andy since he's still late he's actually going to go down to like i think we're only going to spend like two dollars on him for christmas um sorry andy um all right, and so then you can actually go to your Crumble dashboard and you can see um, the total deal. It says total deal value, but basically what it does is it sums up all of the numbers on your board. So it's a good way, like I said, keep track of deal value or you know budget or you know pretty much anything you want to, to look at for numbers. So um, that's really, really cool to do. We'll come back to uh, the dashboard here in a second. Um, Actually, we're going to go back there right now. Um, <laughs> so this this is probably um, the cool one of the coolest features of Crumble to me because I a couple of years ago wrote a blog post about how to build a CRM inside of Trello, and I I kind of hacked some ways through like out of box to build in custom fields and like what kind of lists you would need and using Zapier for different types of automation, but I never figured out the reporting piece. And this is what Crumble really helps with a ton. So this is where if you need to show like progress of, you know, your pipeline, whether it's again for hiring, recruiting or sales or whatever contact management you're doing, Crumble is perfect for that because you can see how many leads you have. You can see, you know, the timeline, what stages they're in. You can filter by source, um, which is a, a default crumble field where you can see if they're coming from Google or from an email, or if they're coming from like a uh, walk-in, like back when that was a thing we could do is walk-in stores. Um, so it's very easy to keep track of all of that. And you can actually filter by that to see you know, what is what is the most effective channel for you? You can filter by owner. So if you have like a bunch of people that are you're managing contacts with in here, you can see each individual's performance. Uh, so that's um, 
super cool way to see it. You can change the timeline. So if you want to look like week over week and you can actually see your success rates of moving people into different stages. So um, you can save the views. So if you want to have multiple views here, so it's a, a great, great reporting tool. Um, Santa actually has to has to use this to report out to his board of advisors, um, you know, the Tooth Fairy. Easter Bunny, um, they they really keep a keep a tight tight track on what he's doing. So he has to be able to report out by that. So um, so yeah, it's a great great way to report on that. And another kind of fun feature about um, Crumble is if Santa collects their email address, he can actually send them an email. So um, we're just gonna do a quick test in here, and I'll show you. Let's just say Santa needs to um, send an email because um, Brittany asked for Santa's productivity workflow. Well, you know, maybe maybe we should send that over email rather than than waiting, or maybe we need some clarification. All you've got to do is connect to your Google account. I don't have it connected yet on this board. Um, also, I didn't mean to steal your thunder, Alberto, because I think Alberto is going to actually go through this as well. But we're just all really excited about this because this is a new Crumble feature and it's super, super useful. Um, I use this to let all of you know that you've registered for the Crumble webinar and what's coming up. So um, again, Alberto is going to go through and show all of that fun stuff. But um, it's a great way. Now I can just go to Gmail send and I can say hi and, you know, Here's the productivity secrets and just hit send and you will see email successfully sent. And so, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna steal, steal over to Thunder because I, I know he, he wants to show some other sort of cool stuff and some cool things we've got coming, but um, I just got a little too excited and wanted to give a sneak peek there. So it's really cool. Um, super excited about that feature and it's a great way to be able to communicate back and forth with everyone. And then um, the last main piece I want to show here um, about Crumble is that you can automatically get your leads synced in here. And so what makes that a really cool, cool thing is instead of having to manually add everybody into your Trello board, you can basically set up some integrations where those leads come in here automatically. So here's some of the ones we have out of the box, uh, Google Forms, Facebook leads, um, and Typeform. But if you want to use something else, you can use Zapier because we're a Zapier integration. And so let's say you use something like JotForm or some other form on your website. You can set up a Zap with Zapier that when that is filled out, it will integrate with Crumble and add a lead in here. So, um, But we're using Typeform. So uh, let me just show you um, how, how easy it is to add a Typeform on here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the one I have just so I can demo what this process is like. I have a pop-up where I have to approve, accept, all right. So and then you just say which type form you want. I have Santa's list. And then you just map out the questions to the field. So for name, um, we ask what's the name. And then for wish list item, we ask what you want for Christmas. And all you do is hit subscribe. And now when someone fills out your type form, it's going to sync up over here. So. Um, may the demo gods be well with us. And let's see if this all works here. So here's the form. And this is, I don't know if you knew this, this is how Santa actually gets your wish list. So um, you just go here and you say, what's your name? And let's see, we will add, let's see, who have I not already got on that board? Dean, let's see, Dean, we're, we're gonna add you on the board. You're getting something for Christmas this year. Um, what does Dean want for Christmas? Hmm. What do you want for Christmas, Dean? A crumble t-shirt. Ooh, yes, crumble t-shirt. I want that for Christmas. All right, so just hit submit. So it says, thanks, Dean. Well, Santa's adding you to, to his list. Let's see, oh, would you looky there? Oh man, he's been so good. He gets on here twice. Wow, Dean, what a good year you've had. Um, and so now notice this information's in here right away. Um, I don't know exactly why this is in here twice, but um, I kind of think it might have something to do with the fact that I copied this board over. Um, so anyways, that doesn't usually happen. Usually it's just one person in here at a time. But you can see the fields are populated with the wish list um, and everything's right in here. So now I can move that over. I can assign that to a certain elf um, and it works perfectly. Everything's in there straight from out of the box. So um, that's great. Santa really prefers people using Typeform, um, but unfortunately 
not everyone uses Typeform and it's kind of annoying when they do that. So, um, but at the same time, there's no need to worry because you, the Unido power up can help you out here. So if someone, for example, is really naughty and decides they want to use Asana, um, shame on them, but Santa can still work with that because he's a very gracious person. And so he can use Unido's uh, workflow tool and the card sync to be able to say, if something happens in Asana, add a card over here and vice versa. So um, this is great for, you know, if you have any other sort of like naughty, naughty elves at your corporate environment who insist on using something that's not Trello, um, Unido can help you connect with, you know, whether it's GitHub or uh, I believe monday.com is another integration they have now too, to be able to match those workflows. So you can work in Trello and they can work in those tools and there's no worry about data being lost. Um, it's also really helpful if you want to sync multiple Trello boards together. So for instance, um, some of the elves actually like to have their own Trello board because um, they have very specific things they wanna do in there. So rather than Santa having to update 10 different Trello boards, um, he can use Unido to sync the cards between all of them on here. So that is uh, super, super handy. Um, I'm gonna pause for a second because I'm seeing some stuff in the chat here. Oh, bomb bomb. That's funny. Um, I think I actually know someone working at bomb bomb. So anyway, I can at bomb bomb with crumble. Uh, yeah, Alberto's talking about Zapier, Zapier toppings. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Zapier. It's a great way for connecting anything that you don't see like out of the box because they have, I want to say over two thousand apps. I may have made that number up. Maybe it's just a thousand, but they have a, a lot of apps. Um, so that works. And then, how can I see another field on the card title instead of the name? For example, I would like to see my custom field company. Ah, interesting. Okay, so yeah, what you can I, I, I have something to say about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chime in, Alberto. Go for it. Yeah, we are working on a new setting where you can decide uh, which uh, Crumble field you want to use to automatically name your cards. So that's uh, something we are going to introduce in in the next couple of months, I think, if not earlier. But yes, that's that's something we've been we worked on uh, in the past, and now we are going to recover this uh, function as we think it's it's quite useful for for people. Yeah. Yeah. That that's, answers your question. I think so. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that makes sense. And I will say, having worked with this team, they love feedback from users. So, like when you they take all of this to heart. So this is super helpful to hear. I've, I've never seen a team so good at like, someone says this is useful and then them figuring out how to make it happen like so quickly. Like um, just thinking about what Crumble was back when I started working with them in February, March-ish to what it is now. There's so many new features um, and new coming out all the time. So thanks for like mentioning stuff like that. We really do take that to heart and try to um, work through that. But yeah, in the meantime, you can also, yeah, put put the put the name up there. Um, there's probably also some things I would guess you could probably have with, have some automation. I'm wondering if like, I don't know the Butler would work because I don't know that it interacts with these fields, but you might be able to pull something where it's like, if this field is updated, then update the card title. Um, but yeah, probably your best bet is, you know, that that integration should be, or not integration, that feature should be coming soon. Okay, cool, cool, um, cool. So some more, or any, any specific questions about, you know, Crumble or anything else you want to go through, feel free to keep posting, Crumble, you need a type form, post them all in here and um, we'll keep going through them. But I've got some other fun power-ups that I love to use as well. Um, and Santa also loves to use, so. First of all, we've got uh, the countdown power up. So um, this is really important for Santa because he needs to know like down to the minute how far away we are from Christmas. And so it's really easy. You just add the countdown to the board and you add in a specific date and you can set it from a card's due date. You can set like a new sort of date and time um, or you know you can make it whatever you want. And it literally adds a field to the card that shows you how much time you have to that. So it's kind of helpful, I think, for um, obviously when you have one big date you're counting down towards, but it's also helpful when you have, um, you want it to look at due dates as well, because I don't know if, about you, but I feel like time is a construct these days. Um, I don't know how far away December 20th is. I, December 14th, I think that may have already happened. I'm not even sure, dates are really all the same to me. So. Um, it's really helpful to see like, oh, this is coming up in, you know, uh, nine days. And <laughs> it's, it's a very helpful way to uh, keep keep track of that. So um, I really like using that. And there's, there's definitely some more advanced sort of ways you can use it as well. 
Um, another fun one I like. So approvals for Trello. So this one's a really cool one. Um, Santa, he he's you know only one guy and he can only do so much. And so he well he does see when you're sleeping and sees when you're awake. Um, a lot of kids have a misconception that once they make it on this list, they're on here for good. Um, but Santa actually has like some people doing some work for him kind of in the background to make sure that everyone is is behaving. And so he uses the approvals for Trello power up so that parents can come in and actually confirm that their child has in fact been nice and not naughty. And so this is why, you know, kids, it's really important, like to make sure you, you're, you're, you're up to par because even when you're an adult, I think your parents can still come in here and confirm that. So like, you know, keep it together for the next couple of weeks, everyone, or next week, I guess, as I said, time is a construct. Um, but anyways, so what you can do is you just add the approvals to, um, to the cards and it literally, you, you can see the status here where it's like, oh, like need, needs approval kind of thing. You can go into the card and let's say, I'm like, okay, Mar Mario has been good. Um, I can check it and it shows as approved. And so it's a great way to be like, oh, nice. That's, that's, that's perfect that we have confirmation there. You could also say they have not been good and you can reject them. So it's super easy there. Um, let's see, and I'll show you like, if you want to add it, it's it's really easy to do. So you just go to the power up. And um, I, I am on the free plan actually here. I was looking at some of the pro features on another board and it's it's pretty cool. So like, just to see like what you can do with it. If you, first of all, want to be able to move, um, for example, when it's approved, you want to move it to a certain list or when it's rejected to automatically move them to the naughty list. Um, that you can add those sort of automations based on approvals with the pro version. Um, you can also have like teams of approvals. So for instance, if you need like maybe a parent and a teacher to approve if the child has been naughty or nice, um, it's a it's a good way to make sure, you know, you're having groups of teams. So like if a parent or a teacher or however you want to organize that, if you want like multiple people to be able to approve something, um, that can be, be helpful as well. Um, I think I'm, I might be saying these a little bit backwards. There's two different features. If you need multiple people to approve something like a parent and a teacher, you can have that set up. Or if you need like approval teams. So um, like you could have uh, two parents and you only need one to approve. You can put them on a team. So basically both of those are features. So, um, but yeah, adding it is super easy. You just click simple approval, who you want to approve, hit save, and then it's right there. And again, you know, you just hit, check or you know even once you're approved you can still be removed and moved to rejected so if you sorry dean we're not we're gonna approve dean dean's been great so okay so that is that is the approvals uh, for trello so great one um and we actually have our our friend here in the chat so if you have any questions uh, for craig from uh, approvals for trello feel free to post in here um, and again, like I mentioned, we're going to be sending out links afterwards to all of these power-ups that we mentioned and, you know, how you might want to use them and things. So um, keep that in mind, but also feel free to post in here if you've got any specific questions on how it works or any other sort of use cases you might want to use it for. Um, and I'll go ahead and mention this while I'm in here. So uh, there's definitely some speaking of approvals and, and things. If you get added to the list, um, you can be revoked from it if your parent emails Santa and says um, that you've been naughty. And Santa uses Zapier to set up a uh, trigger for if he gets an email from a parent that says the child has been naughty, he has a zap that will match the name and the subject line of that email. And it will find that Trello card and automatically move it to the naughty list. So if Santa is busy and um, your parent sends an email to him saying, uh, Dean Morgan, you know, he didn't, clean his room this year at all well sorry dean but we can't we can't help you out there like you're gonna automatically get shot over to the naughty list so um got it gotta watch out for that and uh keep, keep an eye on that so just you know be good for goodness sake as they say all right um ooh, another one i like is time and list so this is a this is a cool one for exactly what it sounds. It helps you keep track of time and list. And so it's nice to see, you can see this field on a lot of these cards, how long they have been in the list that they're in. Um, and it's really helpful for being able to show the age of a card. So for instance, let's say you're working with a lot of leads. It's nice to know, oh, okay, they've been, you know, sitting in um, maybe my 
cold list for a week. Like I need to do something to try to move them over to warm. Um, or, you know, in Santa's case, oh, this toy has been worked on for five days. It needs to be ready sooner than later. I need to follow up with that elf and see when it's going to be, when it's going to be ready. And so um, you can also see some nice charts with this. This board actually like doesn't have, like you can see like sort of some averages. Obviously the more cards you have in there, the more data you have and the more interesting it is to see. And um, I know they mentioned they're doing like an annual report sort of thing. So anybody in here, like a big fan of like the whole Spotify rap sort of thing, where at the end of the year, Spotify shows you like all the show or not shows, the uh, songs you've listened to and podcasts and stuff. Um, I actually, I actually got an email of the, uh, time and list annual report. And it kind of reminds me of that it shows you fun stats about like how you've used it throughout the year. So um, that's pretty cool one. Um, and again, it's very helpful for Santa showing to his board of advisors and, you know, making sure you can see everything you need in there. And um, yeah, and then the next one I want to go through is bulk actions. So uh, I get a lot of questions about this. And um, it's helpful when uh, yeah, thanks, Robin, for the link for the annual report there. Um, I get a lot of questions about like, if I want to move like lots of cards over in Trello, how do I do that? And bulk actions has got you covered. So it's super easy. Um, all you do is click this and it adds like an overlay onto your board. And rather than, again, we only have a couple cards in this list, but if you're managing contacts, you're probably gonna have a ton. Uh, Santa, obviously, as we get closer to Christmas is gonna have literally thousands, billions of cards in here. And so he has a very special process where obviously everything goes out for delivery on the 24th and he still wants to be able to account for that. And so rather than having to manually drag over each one, he can just check the list and it will check all cards in it and just click move. And he can say, move it to out for delivery. And you can see it is processing. Think about it and moves them right over. And let's say you like accidentally do that and need to move it back. It's very easy to do that as well. Um, move it back over to ready to deliver. And so it's a great way to, you know, bulk move cards. Um, I probably use it for that the most, but you can also use it for renaming or if you want to add labels to things. Uh, it's a great way to do, <clears throat> excuse me, to do that as well. Um, so yeah, a big fan of bulk actions. Um, if you need archive cards, so sometimes like if you want to clean up um, all of your cards or, you know, delete them, if you want to mass clean up multiple ones, that's like a really great way to do that. So. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pause for a second here. I went through a bunch of power-ups, a bunch of stuff here, lots of use cases that you can use all of these things for. So like, you know, anything relating to like hiring, recruiting, sales pipeline, support inquiries, you know, down to even managing like who you're buying Christmas presents for, um, all sorts of things in both like work and personal. Um, so yeah, any questions or Anything anyone wants to chime in with or ask about? Look through the chats here. Um, let's see, what does 2021 have in store for you? Ooh, is this like for anyone in specific or? I don't know what 21 has in store for me. Um, hopefully, hopefully a lot more. I wonder more as crumble. Well when I <laughs> yeah yeah it's a great question I don't think any of us yeah. know yeah for crumble I mean hmm. I mean I I, I, I am I, contemplating I a Trello tattoo <laughs> for crumble for Trello okay yes yeah let's see uh for crumble Ooh. well so we will get into I am going to pass over to Alberto in a bit to talk about like more things to come in crumble so I will leave you on the edge of your seat for that Neil um uh I don't know um I know Michael Pryor is on here. I don't know if, I don't want to put him on the spot, but maybe if he wants to chat about anything about um, new things to come for Trello in 2021. I think he had to leave. Oh, did he have to bounce? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, well, I definitely can't, can't speak on, on behalf of that, but um, I, yeah, I know they're working on, um, from their blog posts and stuff, and Michael Pryor mentioned it sooner or earlier too. Some different views for boards, so that's that's pretty exciting. Um, so cool. All right, well, I've got one more board I want to show you, um, and it is um, uses another power up called Planyway. And I'm just going to go through this one pretty quickly because uh, we're, we're you know 
time flies when you're having fun here. But um, so this is for the elves schedule. So Santa has to keep track of like the different things the elves are working on and make sure the timelines are all in place. And uh, he also needs to keep track of their time because he wants to pay them fairly if you know there's any overtime accrued or anything like that. And so by using the um, Planiway power up, um, hang on, We've got to connect here again. Oh, good, Andy's here. Oh, that's nice. Well, yeah. All right. So sorry, this is connecting here. I think it's just because I'm sitting there with crumble. So yes, okay. So you can see this is a great way for showing um, like a calendar view of if there's different dates. So it's a great way to keep track of if there's like certain holidays or certain things that you have to um, uh, you know, be able to plan around or like dependencies on your team's timeline. Um, that's super helpful for that. And you can also incorporate time tracking here. So um, that's a pro feature, but it's a good way to keep track of like how much time did they work on this project and make sure there's, you know, everything they need for that. So um, yeah, I'm going to head back over, I think, to my slides at this point. Um, Andy, are you with us? I, I am almost. <laughs> Andy. I, I've... Hello, Andy. <laughs> Hello, nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you again. I woke up dead sick this morning. I feel very ill. <laughs> so, oh no, Andy. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Typical, oh. right? My first day of holidays, so Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's your body's that's the way like great. It is, right? You you yeah. you've made it. Now we're done. I'm so pissed off and depressed, you have no idea. So I will try not to uh, destroy the Christmas the crumble Christmas spirit. Uh, <laughs> No, 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 Erica. no worries so at happy all. To see you. Too much stress yeah. for you, it looks like. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No worries. We yeah. are we are holding down the fort. We are recording. Nice. Um we we did decrease your your present value on the value of your <laughs> presence. So yeah, that's but easy. I mean we, we can we can we can we we'll go adjust that again since you were uh since you're not feeling well here. Let's see. If I mean see you got down to a two dollar limit, but we're gonna we're gonna move you up to like twenty. So okay. Santa, okay, Santa yeah. will spend twenty dollars on your Christmas present now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, okay, cool. Well, feel free to to bail if you need to, Andy. We are happy to see you. Um, but sorry, you're not feeling well. Yeah, I will do my best. But uh, already, uh, I'm not the same as I was last night. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a shame. too many too many holiday parties gets the best of you. Yeah, yeah, or not enough actually. Maybe that's that's, that's true. Actually, you're right. That's probably more the problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely. For sure. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to um, just go through a few more slides here. So I just wanted to say, um, in terms of Crumble, um, just give a little bit more detail kind of about how I got involved. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, I wrote a blog post a couple years ago about how to build a CRM inside Trello because I'd had so many people ask me about it that I was like, oh, let, you know, let me figure it out. I bet I could build a sort of process in, into it. And so I created... I was like, okay, if you do this, you add these custom fields, you can set this or that up with Zapier, like um, all sorts of different things, you know, going on. I was like, I can, I, you know, you can make it work. And it did. It wasn't like super perfect, but, you know, it did, did the job. And then earlier this year, um, the Crumble crew reached out to me and they were like, hey, you know, we saw you with this blog post. We've actually like built a tool that does this all out of the box. And I was like, oh, no way. And so I looked at it and was like super impressed with it because it did out of the box all of the things that, I had spent time having to set up for, you know, people and things like that. And also um, it included reporting and a bunch of like automation and other sort of features that made it even better. And so um, they asked me to, I was like, this is a really cool product. I like it. And they were like, yeah, will you, you know, come help us like market it and like, you know, help tell more people about it. And I was like, sure. I was like, sure. And they were like, we want to try to get 10,000 users this year. And I was like, oh, that's way too aggressive. Like I, from what I can tell, not like a ton of power ups even hit that sort of threshold, like at all, um, let alone like in their first year. So it's probably too aggressive. Let's just, let's just do, try to get 5,000 this year. And they were like, well, okay. All right. That sounds good. And, um, fast forward to now we're at nearly 30,000 users. So, um, I, that just goes to show how little I know and like what a cool product it is that like, even, um, you know, even I, I thought what was a good goal, we blew out of the water. And so it's a very, very cool product. We have a lot of people using it and telling people about it. And um, I'm not going to go into the history because uh, Tony's going to tell you a little bit more about that. But, you know, you've already seen some of the features with it. It's a really powerful tool. You saw how Santa uses it. Um, and it, it 
has a lot of these sort of features with being able to you know import leads from wherever you're getting them from whether it's exporting um, from your current CRM to bring over a CSV, whether it's automatically bringing them in from Facebook or Google Forms or, you know, uh, Typeform, any of those sort of things. You have reporting and dashboards. So there's lots of like great features with that. But um, so, yeah, I want to pass over now to Dean, um, who has he is our number one Crumble fan. Um, he's, he's done some really cool stuff with us and like has a really cool crumble use case. I'm not going to steal his thunder, but, um, I'm going to pass over to Dean so you can see how someone else besides Santa is using crumble. So I will stop sharing. If you want to share screen. Yep. Hi. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right, let me just screen. Let's share this one. Okay, can we see the screen? Yep. Yeah, Perfect. cool. Okay, so, um, so my name's Dean. So I work in a uh, home care provider based in Wales and UK. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really big fan of, of Crumble, how it was able to, um, pretty much similar kind of thing to, to um, Brittany, really. We, we were just, um, we were, my director was asking me, is there, is there any way we can use Trello to, um, you know, to, to, to try and create some form of CRM? And um, it was back, you know, back at the beginning of, of Crumble. And the, the thing that stood out to me was, was the dashboard um, and how simple that was. So we just kind of, you know, kept at it and moved, moved from there. Um, so, yeah, so we use Trello um, and, and Crumble to, to manage our recruitment um, process overall. Um, and as you can see here on the screen, um, we just use this similar kind of setup, or obviously different, um, different list titles. So we've got, you know, the applicants here. Um, then they're invited to interview, they undergo the checks, whether they're unsuccessful or they start work with us. Um, so Crumble, you know, through the through the dash, obviously, as as Brittany's explained, um, it's just looking at it a different way. Oh, there's no leads. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, so <Okay. laughs> oh, technology. on the flyer, always fun, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, so we're able to use it to, to, to see, you know, crucially, um, our conversion rates really for, for our applicants um, and we can see then at a glance so when I'm asked to report um, for our management reports you know so we I can quickly um, whip up this dashboard and I can see you know actually we've got 13 um, total applicants you know seven have been um, seven are within the funnel and two have started employment with us we've got some unsuccessful and we can see you know on my actual um, board then obviously this, this rate is different but um, it's, it's really useful to just see at a glance how everything's going um, and what's really useful as well is the is the leads by source um, and so we can we can use that to, to really focus our efforts on you know you can see here for example phone call um, in this in this example is, is you know where we're getting our most leads um, in reality it might be Facebook or Indeed um, so we might want to change our efforts and then promote some more things through our website. So it's, it's really useful to just see how um, how things are working again at a glance, just through simple you know use of the cards. And uh, this you know even even the the um, the tracker at the bottom is really useful to see how you know fluctuations in in applications. Um, you know whether we're getting more in a particular month, and as you know year on year we can start to, to look at that and see how that's that's affecting um, things as well. Um, yeah, and I think just the, the whole, the simplicity of it, but also the, you know, the, the fact that things keep being added, like the crumble, the custom crumble field is really useful. You can see um, we've got unsuccessful Krampus. Um, we got, yeah, we've got rejected. So we've added the custom crumble field um, to see, you know, so we can report on the reasons that they um, people are unsuccessful, um, making use of the labels as well through Trello. And it just means that we, we keep adding little things that, we, you know, we might think, oh, you know, is that something we can look at? And it usually crumb between Crumble and Trello, there's some solution there that that means we can, you know, we can report on things quite successfully and evaluate and just improve and move on. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much how, how we use it. I think just what's, what's important for us is that recruitment is quite challenging in the sector anyway. Um, so to just such intuitive and analytical tools like this, and really make it easier for us to manage that as a business. And we're quite a small business and we're looking to grow. And I think, you know, having this is, is really a really, really useful tool 
and I'm so glad that we were able to kind of come across it and you know that things keep improving. So thank you. Yeah, thanks, Dean. That's that's awesome. Um, and it's really cool and exciting to see people using stuff like this. Like, I, like I know I'm a Trello nerd and love to find cool ways to use this. And so it's it's really fun to see like other people too being like, oh, this is like a cool process we've got and it helps us out and it's awesome. And um, Dean actually made a really cool video for us. I'm posting in the chat too, that kind of demos through this use case. So if you're in like hiring and recruiting and you're like, oh wait, that was really awesome. And I wanna see that again. Um, no worries, we've got a on-demand video for you here where um, you can go right through that. So yeah, thanks Dean. Hey, um, now. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. And um, I'm, that, that's awesome. We really appreciate that. And like I said, you know, Dean, Dean's, Dean's our number one fan. He's been doing some really cool stuff for us. And if anyone else on the call like is using Crumble and has some cool Crumble use case studies and wants to tell us all about it, um, we'd love to hear. We get really excited seeing how users are, are using it and stuff. So um, yeah. yeah. I, I'm okay, also cool. using Grumble as you can expect. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. Yeah, Dean, just uh, wanted to let you know that uh, I'm really happy to see how you are using uh, Crumble for the hiring and recruiting. Uh, at the beginning, it was uh, inspired only in managing leads and uh, talking with users like you, uh, we detect that it could be used for contact support and also hiring and recruiting as a, as a, and also the CRM, of course. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really glad to have uh, this feedback from you guys. And just to let you know that Santa was listening to you when you were making the type form. Uh, and we are going to send you a Crumble t-shirt for sure this Christmas. Oh, uh, we go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I so I don't know if you were. Uh, um, uh, we have uh, developed for the Crumble users an Easter egg. And uh, there is a way to unlock it. And somehow you did it. <laughs> Uh, it's by adding like a Christmas uh, oh, like, icon in one exactly. of your lists. So yeah, exactly. So then all the Crumble theme change. This is why you have on your uh, Crumble cards a uh, Christmas background and also uh, the icons uh, on the front card and uh, yeah. the Christmas theme on, on the app. So if you, if the rest of Crumble users want to unlock this only by adding a Christmas uh, emoji Ah. In the name of, of one of the list, uh, then it's a lock. Ah, there we go. I wondered why that, how that. Was. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank Magic. you. Magic. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's a good segue. I'm actually going to pass over now to Alberto and uh, Tony. Uh, Alberto is, um, he's the product and graphic designer for Crumble and does all this sort of amazing visual work that you see and you know helps make the product even better. So um, I'm gonna pass over to him. He's gonna talk about some new features that are recently been developed and are coming down the road. Um, and then he'll pass over to Tony to tell you a little bit more um, uh, quick, quick crumble history. So feel free if you want to share, Alberto. Yes, I'm going to share my screen. And uh, although uh, you already uh, showed almost everything about our new integration, Gmail. I did. Sorry, uh, I, I, I got too excited. Yeah. I got too excited. I know, but that, that's all right. It's 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 because it's so simple. It's it's exactly. powerful yet simple, and that's what we like to do: powerful yet simple things to approach and to use. And um, yes, I, I want. First, to thank you all for joining us today on this Christmas event and uh, also a, a shout out to Andy for uh, coming uh, by and, and, and joining us, although he's not feeling so great today. Uh, he made a great job in our last event on the... Um, uh, Oh, I lost the <laughs> I lost the word. It was the um, Halloween. The Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I couldn't. Yeah, I forgot totally. It was like Halloween. years ago. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ages, <laughs> ages ago. Yes, it was a nice. Uh, it was our first event, and uh, we we had so much fun. We immediately the same day we decided to do this event, and we are so happy to to see so much more people uh, signing into 
to be with us today and, and learn more about uh, how to use Trello and, and, and Cromwell. So thank you for that. Okay, so I, I suppose you are all seeing my screen here. This is actually the board we used to register all uh, your type form um, subscriptions for this event. And uh, in order to show our new integration, which uh, is, you will find it here in toppings. That's how we like to name our integrations, toppings, which makes Crumble even more delicious. And uh, here you can see, you can, you can uh, register uh, a Gmail account. Brittany has already registered her account, although uh, uh, a private domain shows up. This is because we are using here a, a G Suite account from, from Google. So uh, for the time being, just Gmail accounts, free accounts and um, G Suite uh, uh, accounts from, from Google will work, but we are working on uh, providing or offering the same service for SMTP accounts uh, for uh, any other uh, uh, hosting or email provider you are using. So that is one of the things that we can expect for the near uh, future. Uh, we have a lot of things uh, uh, going on and um, uh, I, I, will, I will mention a few of them. But let's uh, talk about this first. Uh, Gmail is as simple as you register your email account, the one you want to use to keep in touch with your uh, customers and, and clients. And then uh, this is the only option we've introduced here. So you can uh, whether uh, switch it on or off if you want automatically uh, crumble to keep track of your uh, email messages uh, with, a, with a contact. And, that's the way it will show up. So you will get short uh, mail snippets to uh, have an idea about what's your conversation. You can uh, jump to your uh, email message uh, directly to the Google. So we provide here links to do so. And here you can, you can follow up on your email conversation. And uh, what we also introduced with Gmail is this uh, button here where uh, this is the one that uh, Brittany showed you and, and she used to send uh, a quick message. And, uh, and we thought uh, that this was something uh, very handy to, to have in your, in your cart. Um, we are working on some other uh, functionalities to add some more uh, nice things to Gmail integration. Uh, such as uh, the possibility of uh, saving uh, snippets so that you have at hand um, some messages you, 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 you want to repeat and reuse in your workflow. Uh, that's on one hand. And we are also, and that's something Brittany mentions, she said, I, I would like to see the, the, the possibility to uh, send uh, the same message to all the cards I have in one list. Uh, well, this is something we are working on. Uh, it is called bulk actions, and uh, we want to introduce that in the near future in our uh, lead section. As you can see here, this is another way uh, to see all your leads in the panel. And we introduced here some nice filtering options and search options. And we want to use uh, that to uh, make bulk actions. And this will be probably the way to do that with sending emails. Um, uh, um, you, with bulk actions, we, we hope uh, users can make uh, a lot more things in their Crumble uh, uh, powered uh, Trello board. So, so that is something we are really looking forward to to show you all. We are working hard on that. Okay, so so th that's it really. It's 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 very powerful, very simple to to explain and to introduce to you, and and we hope uh, you all find it uh, useful to keep track of your email conversation. And, and it, it, we hope it will facilitate workflows so that you don't, you don't have to jump over to Gmail or to your email client if you want to send uh, 
a quick message to a client or a, or a customer. Okay, so that's that. That, that was uh, Cromwell's new uh, Gmail feature. Uh, I will link uh, in, the, in the chat uh, a link to uh, our last blog post where we explain uh, a little bit, bit more in detail, but, but it's very simple to, to set up and use. I don't know, Brittany, if you want yeah. to... No, feel free. Um, yeah, feel free to pass over to uh, Tony if you want to talk a little bit about kind of your vision and uh, how you started Crumble and any anything fun fun with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, first of all, I would like to uh, to thank you all of you guys for joining to the Christmas event. I know you are busy people. Uh, I would like to give a special mention to you, Brittany, and also Andy for hosting the event again. You are amazing. Uh, also, uh, thanks to uh, B Morgan for being involved with that as a, as a, the master of Crumble users. As I told you, we are going to send you a Crumble t-shirt for Christmas. I don't know when it's going to arrive, but we are going to send you anyway. Uh, also, thank you to Planiway, Countdown for Trello, Junito, Sapier, Typeform, Bulk Actions, Timing Lists, and, and Approval for Trello for participating and being involved in this event. And, and last but not least, uh, many, many, many thanks to Michael, which is uh, not with us because he had to jump, uh, the founder and, and head of product of Trello. Uh, thank you so much for being today with us for a while. Uh, it means a lot. And well, uh, at the end of the day, we are super, super inspired by Trello. And without Trello, we did not even exist. So. Uh, also, would like to say thank you to Erika, which is the uh, community manager leader from Atlassian, and for for joining us today and and for your support. Uh, well, uh, I started Crumble uh, in my lab like almost two years and a half ago, and because I have the necessity that maybe you uh, all have of managing the leaks I have in my business, uh, I started to uh, make all the dimension in my. Uh, in my own lab for my previous company. And at some point I say, well, uh, there, there is a lot of people asking, requesting for, for how to use Trello CRM. So this is why uh, I put together uh, with Christina, the IT, our IT woman, uh, the CTO, and the rest of developers and Alberto, we say, well, uh, I think we can make a product that uh, we, could, we could land almost worldwide and, and people uh, will love it. Um, as Brittany said, we expected to have between 3,000 and 5,000 users for this year, and we are going to run up almost for 35,000 users. So everything is uh, running faster than we expect. Um, we are trying to accommodate ourselves to this speed. And um, well, we are landing more and more features uh, as we are uh, walking through and and in my opinion, for the next month, they are going to be super interesting for you because uh, I think it's going to be the, well, where Crumble finally is going to land and it's going to accommodate as the product that it would be for many years to come. Um, now, as you know, with Crumble, you can manage leads and contacts and hiring and recruiting uh, leads or, or whatever you are doing, but we are going to, uh, we are going to land different features related with Microsoft 365, with uh, directly uh, Excel docs. We would like to open also with uh, different mail clients, not only with Google. Um, we are also uh, developing a contact, uh, like a contact um, feature where uh, you will be able to relate some uh, contacts to different leads and we are going to uh, make crumble at the end of the day more more solid so uh, if you are now using crumble and and we appreciate a lot for your support and for using the the tool since we are brand new we are only like eight months old um, if you can wait for a while uh, I can assure that we are going to be a really, really competitive uh, CRM, a competitive tool in, inside Trello. So 
that being said, thank you so much. And, and I think I leave Brittany again to, to continue with the presentation. Yeah. Yeah, so we are just about to wrap up here. I will uh, share my screen once more. Um, we have a few party favors for everyone. Uh, I think I've shared this link before, but I'll post it in here once more. This is our Crumble. Hang on, I've lost my chat and all of my adventure. How come when I start sharing and then stop sharing, it suddenly decides I don't want the chat? It's kind of I annoying. totally okay, forgot to stop sharing my screen. And <laughs> oh, no, 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 you're totally fine. Um, perfect. All right, so there we go. I just posted in the chat. There is a link for the um, the this fun background if you want to use it. Um, and also, if anyone would like a crumble sticker, feel free to fill out this form, and we will be happy to send you one. Um, we try to send them worldwide. It doesn't always work, but um, if you are in U.S. and Canada, I can send it. If you're in Europe, um, Tony sends it, and uh, if you're anywhere else uh we'll try to send it and we're, we're still working out some kinks there but um yeah feel free to fill that out and what else oh yeah i'll go ahead and send this now just in case no one can wait for it but we are going to send an email with all of these resources including like a link to this blog post that goes through all of the things that i've mentioned in this uh event today so in case you're like ah oh, there was a lot of information how do i keep up with all of that um no worries, it's in here. Feel free to reach out to us. Um, I'm also gonna put uh, my email in here in case anyone wants it. Feel free to ask any sort of questions. Uh, feel free to any, email me anytime, anything about Trello, Crumble, anything like that. I love to nerd out about that. Um, and one last thing I wanna mention, I wanna give a plug for the Atlassian community. Uh, if you enjoyed anything at all about today, come over to the Atlassian community because there is all sorts of Trello camaraderie and partying happening over there. Um, so here's here's a link to that. Um, lots of us just nerding out about fun ways we like to use Trello and uh, people just asking use cases about like, oh, wait, this is a thing I want to do with Trello. How can I do that? Um, and you, you'll be surprised how many people just jump in and try to come up with like creative ways to solve that sort of problem or different people like me sharing fun, like random things we're doing with it to inspire ideas and stuff. So definitely encourage you to uh, come out over there and um, when it's over there and then yeah, I will go ahead and stop for now. Um, are there any questions that we didn't get through in the chat or anything that I've missed up here? Anything anyone wants to go through regarding Trello, Crumble, um, any of the other power-ups we've mentioned, um, holiday plans, things we want for Christmas. Floor is, floor is everyone's here. Feel free to bounce if you need to, but also I'm here if anyone needs anything. I just want to say thank you so much, Brittany, because of course. you always do such a great job. And this time you prepared so much information, useful information on how to use Trello in so many clever ways. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. You Believe really it or not, this is literally what job. I do for fun. So I'm so happy to, I'm so happy <laughs> someone like enjoys this um, because yeah, I, I do this for fun. I, Trello has like, Literally I saw, so many ways. Uh, I think Neil is asking where are we located? Well, uh, Brittany, I think is in Bottom Row. Mm -hmm. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yeah, in, yeah, yes. Baton Rouge, yeah, okay, Louisiana. And we are located in, in, in Alicante, which is in the South uh, Mediterranean coast in Spain. Yep. Yeah. So that's it, yeah. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, you know, real global sort of effort. I, I have a really awesome question for all of the Crumble team. Ooh. So you guys are definitely in my uh, top five creators of a power up for Trello. You are obviously amazing users of Trello and Crumble is, is a is serious business. It's, I think, uh, I think Dean already was talking about his use case uh, back in the, in the Halloween party, which was really, you know, it was like, it was already someone saying, Crumble is so amazing. I don't even use it for sales. Like what? Brilliant. Mm. Fantastic. So it's great to see that <laughs> use case presented today. Thanks for that, Dean. That was a really cool presentation. But the question is, you guys are already leading the charge in how to optimize Trello in how people can not just for sales, but optimize everything that they're doing with their work and their collaboration. So what's next for you guys in 2021? What are the plans? Whew. I think Tony can answer that because he knows what he can talk, what he can mention and what not. Maybe I make a mistake. Yeah, yeah, well, question, Tony. Uh, 
Yeah. No pressure. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of pressure, actually. Well, uh, we have a tight roadmap. And as I said, um, I think uh, in at the end of 2021, Grumble is going to be a much more powerful tool, but it will keep uh, staying super, super, super simple, which is our uh, main concern always. So even we are going to be included, of course, with uh, and making partnership with more apps uh, that users are asking for, like um, Mailchimp, uh, like Slack, uh, and, and and many others that they are they are going through an API. Yeah, for sure this is going to happen. But I think it's uh, most important the new concepts we are going to add to help users to get a better organization of their board, which is the the Crumble client solution that is gonna create like a database of, of the clients you have, and then you will be able to relate it with different leads. And um, I think that's it by the moment, as Alberto said, we are going to implement uh, three more graphic slides. So if you are now using uh, Grumble fields and Grumble custom fields with drop downs, uh, you will see that in the next two months, maximum next month, I will say, if my CTO is not gonna kill me, <laughs> then uh, I think during the next month, you will see um, three more graphics that will uh, make a resume of uh, uh, comparative graphics about what is happening in your team, who is making more deals, who is closing more deals, and the deep values of all of them, and also tracking uh, different drop downs. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, Andy, I don't know if I'm uh, giving you a proper answer, but we are going to keep super simple and in the same way, we are going to be more powerful. Can nice. I answer it for you, Andy? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the, power, yeah. the power of, uh, of Tony, the graphics of Alberto, and the insane enthusiasm of Brittany. It's going to be... Uh... <laughs> It's a dream team for sure. Yeah, Trello might Trello. People might not even know what Trello is anymore. They'll be like, uh, "Why? Why do you use Trello?" Oh, because of Crumble. <laughs> well, it, it, it's a gateway. Yeah, I needed a CRM solution, so we were forced to to use Trello because you know, yeah, Crumble. have it like we, part of my master plan. I'm just you know <laughs> gonna get everyone into Trello one way or another. Yeah. Okay. It sounds funny, but it happened. Uh, we had um, customers, clients uh, writing. Uh, us uh, asking us things about Trello because they just jumped into Trello because of because they found Crumble. So that that happens uh, uh, every day. Yeah. Um, uh, I I think the, the the simplicity and and how amazing Trello is and how known it's worldwide. Uh, it's bringing a lot of users from uh, different CRMs. I think you all uh, know the, the big names of them. And they are jumping in Trello because they say, well, I can manage my projects here. And also I can use it as uh, my contact support, hiring, recruiting, and, and my lead management in the same tool. And it's like uh, 10 times less expensive than I was doing before. And, and I don't need nothing else because at the end of the day, complex CRMs and, and different systems, they are not using more than 25% than, uh, of all the features they have, but they are paying for the 100%. And, and this is where we found the gap and we say, well, uh, thanks to Trello and thanks to, um, uh, there, is, there is something that happened with Trello users is that uh, Trello has flow, Trello has hype. People that use Trello, they love to see to all the people that they are using Trello for whatever the task it is, because it's the only platform in the world that has this in terms of productivity. And we want to achieve the same with Crumble. I mean, um, uh, we want to, to be in the same wave, having the same flow and say to the people, well, a, a, a CRM, uh, it's not necessary to be uh, boring. And uh, we are in Trello because it's the coolest platform ever for productivity and for um, yeah, sharing tasks, let's say share the task. And uh, Crumble could be inside of that. And, and that's, that's why I think we are also acting as a driver of new users for Trello. 
which is also one of our main concerns. Yeah, yeah. perfectly said, perfectly said. I think it's testament to why I have a personal account and I pay for gold. I have a corporate account and we have business class. And then I have another account with community leadership and that's all <laughs> fully upgraded and to the max to the eyeballs. It's, it's a perfect, perfect platform. Definitely. Yeah. Thank it you is. so much for your nice words, Andy. Yeah. Thank you. For sure. Uh, yeah, uh, Neil is asking yeah. uh, an interesting question, I think. How do you feel about Trello shifting the personal business model? A cafe is now personal bars impact on marketplace. Um, well, uh, that's, uh, that's the big question that I think all the power of are, are making themselves. Um, uh, if personal boards are going to be switched to, to teams, I think uh, people is going to create, start creating personal teams. This is what I think is going to happen. And uh, I think you have a limitation of boards inside every team, which is uh, around, I think it's 10 boards per team. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. Yeah, something like that, uh, yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think uh, a lot of people is going to migrate that. Uh, the Power Up ecosystem, it's, um, I think um, we are not facing more troubles that uh, what means not being able for the user to have more than one power up if they are not paying the business class account as far as they are able to use one power up. This is why uh, in Crumble we are getting uh, in the same power up more and more features that allow you to uh, get a big of one in combination with others, but uh, not need more than five, six or seven power ups per board. So to the question, how is going to affect? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I assume that people is going to do that because is what I hear from users that they are asking to do or what they want to do. And they are saying, well, if I move the personal one to a team one called personal, something happens and I say, no, as far as you have uh, your Trello goal account or, or, or you only have one power up and it's scrambled, it will work the same uh, as before, so. And, and I know as a, yeah. it, it reminds me a lot of like when they made the, the change, I don't even remember when it was, but a while back with, um, oh, bye Dean, thank you so much for joining. Um, uh, yeah, thank have, you, have, have bye a good bye. night, thank, thank you. you so much, um, but yeah, I, I think that the thing that I have seen as there have been changes is you, you learn, the users, including myself, we learn ways to adapt. Some of them are more impactful than others, but thinking back through like when there was that ch change of like limiting how many people could, um, or how many boards you could have and things like that, um, you know, people find ways to make it work. Like it, in my experience, none of these changes has made the product less valuable. Um, none of them has, has made it uh, less easy to navigate. And I, I understand from like a product decision, there's always pros and cons when you're making these sort of feature changes. And there's always gonna be people that are like really happy about it and people that are really not happy about it. Um, and that's what one of the things I posted in there is like another great reason to join the community is because a lot of people will post sort of things like this. And um, uh, <laughs> I could probably say this now that, uh, like I, I, I feel bad saying it now, but there used to be a time in life when I was like, I would try to optimize all of like the Trello, like like ways to not have to pay for Trello. Cause I knew so many people were like, oh, I, I'm not gonna pay $10 a month for it. I'm like, well, you still need to, like, this is still an amazing tool. And like, it has so much power for free, but like um, I would find like, you know, oh, like you can use Zapier instead of like needing to add this power up to the board. Or like I would find a Chrome extension for this or that. I try not to do that now because like, I really do believe in the product. And like, I think it's, you know, it's one of those things if you care about it, you should support it kind of thing. But um, that being said, like Trello does have a ton of functionality for free. And like, there's lots of things you can do with it. And I, I have never one time felt like, you know, they're just trying to monetize the audience at all. Um, and so I, I think like, that's another good reason to ju jump over to the community is because a lot of times, like, if there is some sort of barrier, and you're like, I really can't like upgrade, or I can't do this sort of thing, and I really need to accomplish it. A lot of times, like, we, we can try to help like fi figure out like brainstorm solutions or, or different sort of workarounds. Like sometimes people think they need a power up for something and they don't even realize that like Trello's basic functionality already does that. And so um, there's all of that is to say, 
another good reason to come over to the community and, you know, talk about all the different ways to use Trello. Like none of us like officially work for Trello. So it's not like we're like, I'm genuinely a fan of Trello because I care about Trello and it's done a lot of cool things. And so like, we're not here necessarily just trying to tow some like party line or whatever. And so we're all very happy to like help like brainstorm and, and talk through solutions and explain how we're, you know, adjusting with different things like that too. So anyways, that was long winded yeah. and I hope that that all made sense, but yeah. It, it's an interesting topic. I don't know if I will miss the personal boards, to be honest with you. It's. it's I don't think uh, I will. Yeah, I'm not worried about it personally, but, but I can see how some people would. Yeah, uh, I'm an old school project manager. So for me, everything in life is a project, even getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes it feels <laughs> yeah. like, you know, I'm introducing change <laughs> and there's a goal, there's a benefit, there's a whatever. Um, and, and even in my personal life, which is where probably the most, the, the more personal boards would be, um, uh, I'm actually irritated by by others who have me on their board and I've said to them oh shouldn't we have a team for that because we've got two or three boards on the go and they're like oh what's teams like why and then it's it's irritating my own flow I think there's so much collaboration going on these days as well that for sure that, that team structure really makes sense maybe I could share my screen quickly let me let me open up Trello go uh, for it it's open I have my bookmarks so at the ready when it comes to Trello. Let's see. And it's and I really try to keep my personal life as uncluttered as possible. So it's literally music and then it's the family stuff. And I keep as as few boards as possible open as well. So I'm really focused on what I'm doing. And then here in the personal boards, these are all the ones I've been added to as a board member, not necessarily team member. And these two is is like our band in Rotterdam, and the 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 own like the the main guy of the band. I keep saying to him, you know, if you're going to do all these multiple boards, we should really be a team. There's six of us, uh, and he's like, no, no, it's fine like this. And then I see his how he manages his Trello boards, and it's just one giant long list of personal boards. <laughs> um, and for me, it's it's all about being a nerdy project manager and on a very personal level. The reason why I prefer the, the all of the teams environment. You can see here it's not upgraded, but if I was to log into PTC with a corporate one, it's like teams everywhere. Um, and and it's just more organization helps me stay more focused and and concentrated. So yeah. I, I personally won't miss it. That's a personal thing. It's not me like, oh, yay, Trello's made the right decision or whatever like that. It's just, yeah, it's, it's sort of, for me, it works out even better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's this little changes that you are used to do things in a certain way every day and then suddenly it disappears. And when I... I had the same doubt when they changed and then I asked uh, Tony well, how, how you are managing this and he said well easy make a new team called personal and make you can make another mm -hmm. one called personal too and then you have yeah. how many personal boards you want it's just a different way to to order things than a limitation but but it's in uh, that's how we are humans uh, every time a, a slight change shows up it's like hmm, you, you don't like it straight away not always <laughs> and, uh, and but yes I don't see it as a limitation uh, as well but uh, having a look at your uh, Trello uh, account uh, Andy I, I have far too many boards I think I must have I don't know how many but <laughs> too many <laughs> I, I, I will be very honest <laughs> it, it, what I did showed looked really sleek and nice, but I did spend two weeks over the summer cleaning up all my boards and stuff. So if you look at my archive of what was recently closed. Oh. It's, it's I like, still have mm -hmm. like, I don't know, maybe 60 boards or something like that with seven <laughs> teams or, or I don't, whatever. Is there a way? Does anyone know, know a way to see? Oh, bye, Erica. Thanks for joining. Um, bye. I wonder bye, if there's Erica. a way to see how many... Trello boards you actually have because that would be really funny. I literally have no idea how many I have. It's probably some terrifying number. <laughs> um, I don't think they have that overview in terms of every. I mean, obviously you have the archiving, so you can open yeah. up archiving to to reopen boards and everything like that. Um, I'm trying to see how many Trello boards you have uh, open. Uh, 
Ba, 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 ba. It's Interesting. The um the boards list, right? So. Yeah. Well, I'm looking. I mean, oh lord, I'm not going to count, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I closed nineteen boards. In oh the my summer. gosh. Yeah. And uh, and I know one of the one of the core product teams in the U.S. who works for PTC. Um, they have big arguments within their product management group because um, uh, like one one half of the group is on Jira, the other half is on is on Trello, and there's this this fun fight who is the best and who is the most efficient and stuff, um, and they're opening closing boards like there's no tomorrow that you know um, sometimes they even do an entire board just for a sprint uh they're, they're real trello masters oh wow and, yeah then they've got then they've got six six thousand users on business class so they're 6, really good. yeah they're, they're really Gee. hardcore when it comes to trello um, um i just did a quick count and of my open boards i have 93 open boards right now Wow. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to act like I'm active in all of them by any means, but just a quick count of everything that's a, that is not closed is uh, 93. How yeah, many, by how the many way. of those? <clears throat> Sorry, Albert, what? so I interrupted you. No, no, no problem. Go on. I was going to ask Brittany, how many of those boards do you use to manage the other boards? <laughs> Yeah, good question. Uh, not not really any. I would say the most active ones are my starred boards, which I I, I probably have about uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen in there. I would say those are usually my most active ones. Some of these other ones are just like reference stuff that I bring up occasionally, like um, or you know, like templates I've made for people and stuff like that. So I don't know, like yeah, I don't even really have a board to manage boards, but um, yeah. Are you still doing your whole code code learning? Mm -hmm. I am actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I am. Um, yeah, cool. I finished my boot camp, so I'm I'm a front end engineer, sort of. Um, still, you know, sort working of. in marketing by day, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can do. I'm I'm just dangerous enough to do some useful things, but yeah, it's funny because um, I like thought about it for a while. I was like, oh, maybe like I should combine my love with Trello and programming and start like you know building some more like power-ups are different sort of things on top of Trello, but that's all like, I kind of like decided front end was a little bit more useful and easier to like potentially get a job in. And like, also it's easier to like see what you've done. Cause like I was learning like Python at one point and I was like, ah, oh, this is like, I can't like show people what I built in Python, but when you do front end stuff, it's easier to like build a website and show it to people. So I switched over to front end, but I'm probably gonna start dabbling in some back end stuff sooner than later. Nice. Okay. Sounds Very good. cool. I, I was about yeah. to mention that I don't really care. I, I, lately, all I'm use, all I use every day when I open Trello is I go straight to the bell icon and see what's. Oh next. yeah, the notifications. Yeah, yep. Notifications. Yes. And that's, that's my. I usually have something queued up for you every morning, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, key. yeah. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And when and, and when it's an event coming soon, it's like uh, fifteen times more or something like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say just yeah, for this yeah. event. We have, well, I mean, you saw all the Trello boards I made for today. So I had like five different ones I made for today. I had one for like actually planning this event. I had the one I showed you all for like managing all yeah. the leads and everyone who registered for this event and sending emails to them and stuff. So um, yeah, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's useful for a lot of stuff. In my yeah. case, it, it, it changed my life. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Trello changed my too. life. I mean, I, yeah. I, I was more like a chaos when, uh, when I started managing all my things. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, if I have to do something, okay, if it's too quick or too small or too short, then I, I'm not creating a car. But for the rest of things, uh, I, I have the, the, the feeling of having my brain more calm because everything I have to do now, it's in a bar with uh, due date. So um, I, I'm just doing the tasks I have to do uh, let's say in order one after the other and, yeah, and that, before that, it was yeah that, that is the that's based on I first learned the get things done um, uh, oh yeah the, uh, getting things done or getting yeah, things yeah, done GTD. yeah what is his that's name right. why can I not think of him I, I, I don't know but is, I was is it David Allen? is that right uh, can, can, yeah 
David yeah, Allen. Possibly. Yes. Okay. I did. Yeah. That. Yes. David so, Allen. So w- when, 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 to me, the most valuable advice was um, whether you use a block notes or whatever system you like to use, the best thing is to uh, uh, don't uh, have to keep in mind all the things you have to do because Mm -hmm. that uh, doesn't leave you time and space to focus on creative work, on on the things you have uh, to do right next. So right. that was a uh, very good advice. And Trello uh, works in, in very well with this um, methodology. And uh, yes, you, you write things down, you put due dates, and you know the moment will arrive when you have to do that. But your brain is not constantly going through a, a revision of all the things you have to do. And, and that is exactly. very important. I think that is key. That is the key point of using Trello or any other project management system or task uh, management tool, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the quote, Neil, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. I like that. Um, yeah. Holly, I love using Trello as a newbie. A few kinks you need to work through and make yeah. everything work. Yeah. Feel free, Holly. Um, I'm, I'm going to send you an email, but uh, feel free to, you know, reply back to me anytime, like I said, or, or hop in the Trello community. Like sometimes someone will respond in there even faster than I would to my email. But um, if you're finding any of those kinks, no question is too stupid. Like um, some occasionally there's a bug. Sometimes there's just a like, oh, this is how you have to set that up. So feel free to post about that. And, you know, we'll, we're all yeah, happy to help out, are. even if it's not CRM related. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we are also, uh, if, it, if it's more related with Crumble, obviously, but we are uh, also Holly uh, making some uh, 30 minutes uh, call. So you can set up a meeting with one of our uh, uh, Monster Crew uh, member, we call it, one of our team. And we are going to explain you how we use the, the support board or, or leads or yeah. whatever you need. And, and if you need more, then you can arrange more in the future. And, and it's super useful because sometimes in 15 minutes, you get uh, 100% uh, shoot about what All you set have up. to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, definitely take advantage of that. If it's for, yeah, if you, there's something you want to use Crumble for, like, you know, literally, you know, holding your hand and, and, and going through that. That's, that's super, super cool, cool thing. And I like that we're able to do that. And I hope as we scale, we're able to, you know, keep doing that for sure, too. Um, but yeah, uh, cool. That... Well, we have now gone almost two hours. Yeah, um, yeah. Right. yeah. That's great. Thank you to, to all the that. fans who are here. Um, yeah, uh, I'm. Yeah, we we can keep going if there's anything else anyone wants to uh, go through here. But uh, this has been a fantastic time. Indeed, um, absolutely yeah. amazing. Cool, cool. I will, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording because this is already going to take Zoom.